The lazy days of summer have begun. I got my cocoons on. Hello, and welcome to Raw Impressions. <laughs> I'm back. Four Track Man is back, much <laughs> to the relief of Lou. Mm -hmm. I know he feels a little lost without me. <laughs> I do. No matter what he says. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> He knows I'm only kidding. <laughs> but I'm back, and something very special, and I mean special, no, I mean it's, uh, it's an ambivalent kind of special. <laughs> but, but this is the hint. This is the hint of what's going on with Lou. That be. <laughs> what does that signify? One more time. <laughs> but in the meantime, before that happens, it's going to be a whole lot of. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna split. I'll let I'll let these two take over from here. It's great to be back. <laughs> and welcome to Raw Impressions, you all. I, d I did miss him. I missed him too. While I was away on tour, you know. Yeah. He, he gives structure to things, you know, even though he's... It's four-track man, <laughs> you know? The good, the bad. Mmm. Just know? like... Yeah, just like some some people in our lives that we have to deal with. Sometimes uh, it's good, sometimes it's bad. And um, the ball busters. The ball busters. You know what? I just found my pen, and I've been looking for this pen, and I'm very happy. It's not just this pen, but this particular uh, pen brand or type of pen. I have a number of them, but I keep like bringing them around the house and then forgetting where I left them, and then going to the original pen holder place to find the pen or one of them and there's less and less because i keep grabbing them when i keep losing because them. because i keep grabbing them and if you if i grab something it does kind of like disappear yeah it does I, so and then I, it ends I, up in strange like why is it above the toilet now izzy just found snuggle bunny uh down by your feet in your little like loose corner of our bedroom i had nothing to do with that i do, I do yeah. not touch snuggle bunny yeah so I I was very relieved, deeply relieved that we found Snuggle Bunny last night. That would have been um, mm -hmm. a different night. A it different could have been night. a problem. Yeah, could when, have been a when problem. The, uh, when the child loses its uh, its its mascot, it's, yeah, if it uh, has its one thing, item. it's it's little lovey, its thing. It's little lovey. The uh, I even uh, had to go out to the car last night and rustle around in the car. Did you hear that? No. Yeah. <laughs> No, <laughs> looking for it, but anyway, I feel a little preoccupied because, as um, mm -hmm. Four Track Man was saying, the sound that he's using mm -hmm. it, it indicates a colonoscopy. Yeah. I'm having a colonoscopy tomorrow. Today is prep day, and I'm already really hungry. Oh. So I'm not meant to eat all day long, and then tomorrow. I know, that's why I was afraid of you having espresso, because I was afraid that the caffeine would make you hungry. It did. <laughs> it did. Uh-huh. But you know, just can't live without my triple espresso in the morning. You know what? I might have some bone broth in the cabinet al already. I'm going to go to the grocery store later this morning, but... Um, it's, what a What a sparse day. I know. I'm Bone sorry. broth. I really, I mean, I feel... And it's also going to be a hot day. It's supposed to be like 96 degrees here in Greenfield, Massachusetts. And if I go swimming, then I love... To, swimming always makes me hungry. I'm a little nervous about you swimming. I'm almost thinking you, don't, you shouldn't go because I'm worried about you getting heat stroke with not eating. And, you know, that, that makes me nervous. So... We don't need another reason to be nervous. Yeah, we Although don't need I probably it. could right. I could just hang out there. At least I would be Yeah, that's true. You could just making small talk. Yeah. Another you know, set of eyes. Another, another set, set of eyes. eyes. Yeah. You know. That's true. 
that's true yeah. drinking sipping some bone broth yeah <laughs> <laughs> sipping bone broth by the pool <laughs> i'll get you some white grape juice too they said it has to be clear liquid so Throw a couple of ice cubes in that bone broth sure mm. Mm. man we i might stumble. i could make you a bone broth popsicle <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great and it sounds innovative a bone sickle it sounds innovative <laughs> Bone sickle. Mm. <laughs> Look what I made you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I made you, honey. Check it out. It's a bone sickle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, everyone. That's just bone broth in popsicle form. <laughs> Your husband didn't go put his dick in the freezer. And then <laughs> uh, uh, okay. The length, the lengths we can go. Um, <laughs> I'm going to put my cocoons back Although on. Although I'm sure some man has probably put his dick in a freezer to freeze it, to chill it, and to just... What, his dismembered dick? You can't put no, your dick No, no, I'm sure freezer. he's just stood in front of like a freezer with his penis and... and well, that would be if he, he took too much uh, sildenafil. Sildenafil. <laughs> Otherwise known as Viagra. Calm, calm down. Pri- priapism. Priapism. <laughs> That's the endless boner. Oh, my God. The, the unfortunate man that where Viagra triggers a just a boner that won't go. <laughs> so you know you're at the hospital with your huge boner. There, I, I showed like, up for my colonoscopy. <laughs> the raging boner. <laughs> with a raging boner. My wife tried to make me stand in front of the freezer and... <laughs> Now I just have a cold raging boner, mm. and I'm getting a colonoscopy. And check out my manscaping, <laughs> nurse. Don't you go Googling me after this. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, dear. Check out my manscaping. <laughs> this was for you. I thought I would just get the shaving out of the way for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you have to shave your butthole <laughs> for colonoscopies. <laughs> I don't know. That's where that's where the <laughs> that's where it goes. I'm I'm taking I'm, I'm taking. I'm sure on that a, little laser can you know weave its way through the woods through the the forest. The yeah. Well. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, and it's uh, so we're just okay. Oh. <laughs> well, I feel a little better now. <laughs> <laughs> thinking about thank you four track man he set he set us up really well for this episode uh, i was i was feeling uh i've got a bit of a nervous stomach a nervous yeah. empty stomach but yeah. uh yeah and you haven't even started the stuff yet that makes you shit mm, gavelite that'll come later gavelite I'm gonna, I'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna kick into that maybe, maybe this might be that. like the longest day of your life <laughs> i should bring that to the pool party <laughs> you really should mm. bring the jug <laughs> oh no don't touch that izzy <laughs> no that's gavelite that's that's <laughs> that's that's my gavelite um my seltzer gavelite that oh. i'm i'm sipping on by the pool <laughs> oh my god Waiting for all fucking hell to break loose. Well, yeah, I, did, I thought I did see a thing that said drink half of it in the afternoon or something. I don't know. Yeah, I looked it up, even though... What does it say? What are the instructions? Well, I looked it up online. The okay. instructions say, you know, do it according to your doctor's uh, <laughs> instructions, but they didn't give me any instructions. I know. What they the hell's up with that? They were like, you should have received your instructions. And you're like, well, but, but again, I didn't. But then again, it is me. I do tend to overlook things. Maybe they I, did give you instructions. Maybe they did. There could have been a whole printout. There could have been a whole booklet you came home with. They, fucking, they could have tattooed it on my fucking arm. Yeah. Colonoscopy instructions. Well, hopefully this this will be the last one for a while. Yeah. Although my father and my elderly father, they, they don't even bother with the colonoscopies now. They're like... <laughs> whatever really <laughs> yeah, yeah. they know. just stop going up the poop hole yeah, after it, a it while it doesn't matter you're you like the likelihood of you passing away within the next 10 years <laughs> you know why 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 bother wow why bo- i know that's like ouch maybe your dad will live another 20 years he could that'd be cool he could he Whoa. puts down he puts down that bag of lays put it down dad stay away from subway <sighs> You know, it's the, the old men think that going to Subway and getting a chicken parm sandwich is, is healthy. Well, come on. Hey, don't shout out so specifically here. He's not going to hear it. 
They've given up on the podcast a long time ago. <laughs> Your mom's going to text me tomorrow. He's done with the chicken parm. <laughs> Like she's not going to argue with us. Yeah, she does. She's definitely it's not going to argue with us. She knows. She knows what's right. This is a, this she is knows general, what needs to happen. This is a public service annou- announcement for all of the other the uh, elderly. It's to us too. We yeah, you know to us too. You have to put down the chicken parm eventually. Put down the parm. Uh, I actually grilled eggplant last night, and I had the thought. You know what, how this would be delicious. With a bunch of cheese on it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and red sauce and baked in the oven. I was like... <laughs> so it turns out eggplant is actually just like a... It's like it's like a spoon or something. You're not meant to... It's a sponge. To, yeah, you're, you're just... You're meant to like use it. It's like a reciprocal... Reciprocal? Reciprocal? Reciprocal. Good word. I don't know if it fits there. I don't think that's the word. It's receptacle. Receptacle. Mm-hmm. Receptacle? The reciprocal receptacle. I thought a receptacle was like the trash can. It is. Yeah, but the... But it, and it's anything that receives. Oh, but no, I'm thinking of it as more of a tool. That's why I was trying to say like it's like a tool, like a spoon. Like you're using the eggplant yes. to bring the sauce and the cheese to your mouth. You sop it up. Yeah. And bring, well, you'd need a Res- firmer. You would need a... F- I, I like a firm aubergine. That's what? eggplant. That's a fancy oh, word for I was for like, eggplant. oh my God, what's aubergine? Aubergine. Oh, that's... Is that purple? Yeah. That color, that kind yeah, of maroon. Yeah, exactly. Right? That beautiful purple. It's actually beautiful gorgeous beautiful purple it's a beautiful it's a beautiful piece of vegetable it's a be- mm-hmm. beautiful vegetable it also rep- you know as far as the emoji world goes it's the it's a really good representation of a of a penis well an actual eggplant well the eggplant we were having if that was your penis i would say you definitely need to visit the doctor because <laughs> <laughs> That's an ism of some kind. That's not how your penis should look. It was so <laughs> wide. The whole thing was wide. That's I heard no wide one's is penis better. is that wide. That's too wide. That's too wide. Wide is good. That's too. <laughs> that's too wide. That's yeah. That's not a penis. That's not a penis. That, I mean, that's, we're that's not a, talking about like a Japanese eggplant. We're just talking about like a traditional, like a, just a. Ever, everyone knows what I'm talking about. Anyway, the the emoji one is more of wasn't that more of like a Japanese eggplant? Is that what it's called? Don't know. Anyway. Don't know. Don't care. Just know it makes a good penis. What? <laughs> <laughs> Let me look when it sometimes, up. Sometimes when that is like the when that is, you know, that's something that brightens your day. Being able to send that to someone, you know, being able to send that, you know, to a loved one, someone that appreciates it. What what do they appreciate? Well, you've liked it when I've sent the. <laughs> Why do you gotta tell people that? <laughs> it's been a while, actually. Japanese eggplant. Okay. Yeah, they're the ones that are. That's true. These are. That's a good looking eggplant. <laughs> that is a really good looking eggplant. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I approve. Um, and they're also delicious. I've said too much. Okay. You know what? It's 927. Um, yeah. I got to go. What do you mean you got to go? I have to go. At 10, at 10 o'clock, I have to be sitting in the chair at the lift in Amherst for my, my haircut. It's only going to take you 25 minutes to get there. No. I've tried that. I've tried to go. I'm going to leave in less than a half an hour, and I've been late every time. Well, this is not a... This is not a full episode of Raw Impressions, the podcast. It's a full, it's as full <laughs> as I can make it right now. <laughs> it's as full as it can be. It's as full as an eggplant right now. I okay. can't, I, <clears throat> well, I think it's a wonderful podcast and people will understand. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going in for my uh, colonoscopy tomorrow. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I guess we'll we'll talk to everybody later. Maybe we'll talk about the colonoscopy. Colonoscopy, maybe not. Right. You know, maybe we won't we won't talk about maybe it. Maybe we'll never speak of it again. Maybe you'll be like, whatever happened. It's kind of like the the Pammy Awards. You know, when the Pammies popped up, the podcast Emmys. Yes. And we had been nominated for several, 
Pammy Awards, including Best Sound Design. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm, but then, mm-hmm. and then there was meant to be a, a, you were going to the ceremony. In Vegas. In Vegas. Yeah, with Mark Maron. Mar- Maron. <laughs> yeah. Marone. Mm-hmm. Mark Not Marone. Mark Marone. Mark Marone. And then uh, we never heard about that again. Right. We well, just, we I, I can't it. talk about it. We I can't mean, talk about yeah. it. Yeah. So some things have to main, remain re- mysterious, and and the colonoscopy uh, is up in the air. It's personal. It's personal. It's That's personal. True. It's between me and my ass and you. Mm, true. We're on this journey together. We are. Do you, Adele, <sighs> take Lou and his ass, <laughs> his colon? You know, I heard that if you... Uh, I remember, I remember not a lot from my school years, but I was told that if you took the, is it the large intestine or the small intestine and spread it, it could sp- spread all the way across the blackboard, like in a schoolroom, like a really? traditional, you know, like a huge, like a blackboard. Yeah. It's like really long. Wow. When you take it out and you unravel it. That's that could, insane. Yeah. Wow, that just like squishes like really, all in us. There's a whole lot of business going on in, in the length of your colon. It's kind of crazy because then it feels like sometimes when you have like, um, I don't know, like explosive diarrhea or something, it feels like it happens really quickly. Like how did it? It's a long way to travel. It's a long way to travel. What? How many miles per hour? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, wow. Have they ever measured how fast, uh, you know? That's the thing about, you know, asparagus too, is how the smell of asparagus can make it to your urine like Really quickly. I mean, this is not, I mean, it's not a direct line. It's got to be a real snaky t- little tube. And it has to go into your stomach where it has all those acids. Those acids. Yeah, it gets filtered through your stomach and then somehow out your, out your urethra. Mm-hmm. Your pee hole. Your pee hole. Yeah. <laughs> your urethra Franklin like right away. And then the waft, the familiar waft of asparagus. Almost instantaneously. I don't like you saying Eureka Franklin because I really respect her. Well, I, no, hey, that's funny. <laughs> I respect her too. R e s p e c t. True. She's she's a yeah. She's a. I don't think I think she's okay with it. Okay. I think it's comedy. It's comedy. <laughs> it's comedy. It's, it's touching. You know, it's it's a it's it's a bit a bit of a throwback. It's a, one of it's an old and trusty. Um, yeah. Hey, we were talking my celebrity names. It fits yes. right in with that. Eureka there you go. Franklin and okay. Duma Thermos and <laughs> Duma Thermos and Deef and Squawk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a good start to a bad, bad any. day. This is a great oh. start to a bad day. Um, oh. Thank you for trying. Maybe Man. it's going to be a great day. Maybe you're actually going to get like on some kind of like high. You're going to just feel like you're sailing today while you're I'm on this liquid diet. I'm going to feel diet. like I'm soaring. Soaring. As my body empties. Hopefully hopefully your butthole won't feel swollen from you know, all we, the pooping. We've got, we've got the bidet. We've got the... I installed bidets. These are the little things. And we have wipes. That, and I barely have to use wipes. I'm telling you. I know. I don't know if we talked I'm, about this before. No, because we will. We could do a whole episode on it. Yeah. But I... Boy, get yourself one of those bidets it, you know it sort of functions as as a japanese toilet not as yeah. great of course because it doesn't have i mean the japanese toilet genius right don't, don't even get me started but i'd love to get you started um but anyway i'm 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 feeling good about i think my butthole is going to be fine it won't become chafed from all the wiping because i simply i barely have to wipe yeah with my my bidet okay well it'll be interesting um this will be an interesting day for us, privately or not. We'll mm-hmm. let you know. Yeah. Sorry, I got a bail so quick. Yeah, you got to get going now. I do now. Yeah. Now you. Okay. Now I'm late. Thanks. You, you just have to go directly downstairs. And know. now I have to go to the bathroom before I go. So now I'm officially oh. late. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, good luck. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh,
Thank you for listening to another episode of Raw Impressions. It's time for Lou and Adele to stop talking and get on with this interesting day. <laughs> and tomorrow, an even more interesting day. Hopefully, Lou doesn't just come out of that, come out of his uh, uh, anesthesia, crying, <laughs> sobbing. <laughs> Like he did last time. It's funny stuff. Funny stuff. Well, that's just wish everyone good luck. Good luck with your procedure, Lou. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you for listening to Raw Impressions. <laughs>